right, y'all. Let's break it down like this. We all see what Tariq's going through. Tariq been getting his behind whooped every which way. Knocked on his back, slapped around, punched in the face. He's lost it all. He still has basically nothing. Kane's going to end the season on a higher level than Tariq ever was. Tariq still has more losses to have. By the time the credits roll at the end of Power Book 2 Ghosts, Season 4, Episode 10. Which is, we all know, the final episode of the entire series. Now, we all have also speculated on where this assumed spinoff is likely to take place. It's looking like London right now, but when you have people like Ghost and Tommy in the mix, Tommy, who said his first primary location was California. You got London, California, and now people are talking about Atlanta, right? Something's got to give, though, with Tariq. As you guys already know, Tariq has said over the course of the season that he's tired of getting pushed around. Y'all better believe that if he been getting pushed around these entire nine episodes, even if Noma dies, he's rid of Noma, Carter dies, he's rid of Carter, even though this happened, Tariq has no great gain to come from that besides the fact that these two people with more power than you are just dead and they just don't have power over you anymore. That didn't put him in a better position. That doesn't get Tasha and Yaz and Grandma Stell out of Witsack. Tariq has deeper levels to go. And they've been showing us a little bit of a glimpse of Tariq's villain arc that will happen. I'm talking about pure villain arc. Where we seen Tariq say, Apex Predator. I'm tired of being hunted. I want to be the hunter. I want to be the Apex Predator. Y'all know what a predator is? And no, I'm not talking about Diddy. No, I'm not talking about Kelly. No, I'm not talking about them crazy Caucasian politicians. I'm talking about in the wild. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what a predator is? This is somebody who eats everything in its way. Bullies everything in its way. Destroys and consumes everything in its way for its own personal gain. Yes, we have seen Tariq be selfish. We have seen Tariq run over people in a sense, <laughs> if you want to count Selene. But we have not seen Tariq really get his angriest, but you better believe we seen a glimpse of this future villain arc in that warehouse with Davis McLean when Tariq found out that Don Carter and Noma had the damn audacity to link up and go against him. We have never seen Tariq that angry. And y'all know who the boy father is. Y'all know what kind of person Ghost turned into when he really got angry and he was tired of people fucking around with him and disrespecting his gangster. We've seen what Ghost is capable of. Now, Tariq can't fight. But if we talking about a spinoff, like if we're talking about a spinoff, the spinoff could easily, could easily, right, happen two years from now, and they could start the season off by saying, Tariq been gathering his thoughts and getting himself together for a whole year, right? Been in the gym, boxing, all of that. We're likely to see Tariq kick a lot of ass 
and be very, 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 very disrespectful. And very much the apex predator going into this spinoff. And I'm talking about everyone is up for grabs who don't share the same blood as Tariq St. Patrick. I'm talking about everyone. I'm talking about everyone, okay? Tariq is tired of people playing with him. And at this point, all it takes is one more major loss. And Tariq will become the villain that I'm telling y'all he's going to become. And you might ask, Nate Almighty, the global dark skin ambassador, the head of GPA, the global power ambassadors, what great loss is likely for Tariq to take in order to take him to that next level? And that would be the death of Tasha. Now, just because we haven't seen Tasha for a couple episodes doesn't mean we're not going to see Tasha pop up. Doesn't mean Carter doesn't already have people watching Tasha. Or even have Tasha and maybe even Yaz hemmed up somewhere already. He's very well aware of where Tasha St. Patrick is. But I believe she goes by Green now. Miss Green if you're nasty. Tariq will likely lose Tasha by the end of this series. I'm predicting Carter dies or Carter gets dealt with with the help of Nico and Rashad Tate in the mix. Noma dies. The Tejadas are going to take care of her. Tasha trying to save her son dies in the mix now because we see Monet go out in the blaze of glory that does not mean the same thing will not happen to Tasha now Tasha is not a shooter like Monet but that does not mean she can't catch a straight bullet somewhere that doesn't mean she can't be tied up with a gun to her head. Tariq doesn't get somewhere on time or Tariq doesn't cooperate. Boom. Tasha catches a headshot between her eyes. Something is likely to happen to Tasha. And even though Tariq will be rid of Noma and Carter, the death of Tasha and likely inadvertently Tariq will be the cause because just like Grandma Stell told Tariq in season one, or was it the beginning of season two? Every hardship that has befallen this family is because of you, Tariq. And Tariq has never fully held himself accountable for this. I'm telling y'all right now, the fact that Tariq will have to watch his mother die, and I'm talking about it's going to be bad. We may see Tasha dead or dying right in Tariq's lap. This is going to change Tariq. That little glimpse of his attitude, of his anger that we've seen in that warehouse with Davis McLean, that is only the tip of the iceberg and going into the spinoff whether it's London California Atlanta if it's fucking Portland Oregon we are going to see a different kind of Tariq dare I say we may see Tariq become a character that we don't like again Similar but different to the character that he was in OG Power when he first started doing stupid shit. Like 
going in the detective's closet, getting a gun, taking it to uh, taking it to school, getting caught, um, trying to arrange a fake kidnapping with Vinny to extort money from his dad, end up getting beat up. We're going to see Tariq do some foul things. Some foul things. Very, very, very foul things. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace. Hey, teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's God-given. That's touch my angel. That's on the dome, nigga.